What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Quick little uh, video here on changing your oil, oil filter, air filter on your generator. Anytime you're running a generator during a, I don't know, hurricane or a power outage, okay, you run it, if it's for a day, three days, or a week, you want to change the oil, all right? Right here, I ran it 142 hours, and if you look at the clock there, it will tell you oil now, so change the oil. We're going to go through that. This On this side of the XP8000E, right underneath all the controls and buttons, you have an oil. This is where you want to check your oil. It's not a dipstick, but if you lean this over a little bit, you can see the oil. You can see it moving around in there. If you come in with your finger a little bit, you can see. She's dark, she's black. So we're gonna change it. So you're gonna put this back on, and usually the oil drain is gonna be on the other side of the engine. On this side here, along with the oil filter, all right? That nut right there you're gonna open up. It's got a nice little angled piece. We're gonna open that up, we're gonna drain the oil. You're gonna get yourself a wrench, you're gonna open that up, you're gonna drain all the oil out, we're gonna make sure this thing is level. And then we're going to proceed to unscrew the oil filter and take that off. All right. What you're going to need, you're going to need some tools, oil filter. We got an air filter, spark plug. Then we're going to go with the Pens oil, 10W30. Yeah, she's dark. Drained. All right. It takes a little time. You can see it dripping out. You're going to reach over to get to your. Uh, oil filter you're gonna twist it counterclockwise go easy you might have a little oil that drips out of here so you want to get a rag you want to clean it off take this off nice and easy and there you go put this aside And when you replace with the new one, right here, you want to take a little oil, just a little bit, you want to go around your gasket here. You want to just get this gasket, get a little oil on there. So when you put this on and seal it, and you give it a nice little right hand, tighten it by hand, it's going to give you a nice seal. You don't want to put it on dry, you want to just lube that that uh gasket up all right so you're going to come going to come in and you're going to re-thread it go easy make sure you're threading it nice and straight okay you don't want to thread it crooked if you do and screw up the threading then you have a big problem all right, so once you get it on pretty tight i'm going to grab a paper towel i'm going to wipe all this down dry this and then i'm going to give it a nice at least a quarter to a half a turn and it gets a little tight I'm gonna just crank it about a quarter to a half you don't want to super tight it you don't want to you don't want to tighten it too much but you want to give it a nice snug fit and then we're gonna put that cap back on tighten that back up and we're gonna go on the other side and we're gonna fill the oil back up so you grab yourself a rag and you just want to clean this off all right dry it off nice snug fit you just want to wipe off all the excess oil, anything that dripped out. Try to take care, you know, you don't want this leaking into the grass. Take care of the environment. What I'm going to do with this oil is I have an old container I'm going to store it in. And when I fill it up to a certain amount, you can actually bring your oil to a local gas station. They have tanks that they put their oil in. And if you're friendly with them, they usually let you do it for nothing. If not, it's a couple bucks, and you're able to dispose of your oil safely. All right, so once this is tight, we're going to put that nut back on, tighten that up. Not super tight, but we're going to snug that up also. And let's go around and get ready to fill it with a funnel. We're on the other side. This kit actually came with its own funnel. It's a paper funnel. You want to put it inside there. And uh, we're going to proceed to pour the oil in. I'm going to hold it with one hand. 
and I'm going to pour it in slow. But I'm full, and you can see it if you look down here. See it moving around? All right, you don't want to overflow it. You want to put the cap back on. All right, give it a nice little snug fit and give it a few pulls. Let that oil generate through the engine. And possibly make sure that oil filter is full. All right, you don't want to start it, just a few cranks. And then you want to open this guy up again and check the level. And you can see it's perfect. It's right there, right up at the top. All right, so we're going to close this. Close this up. Give this a nice snug fit so it doesn't get loose. And we're going to get over and do the air filter. Air filter is pretty basic. It's on this side here. All right. And you're going to unscrew this screw here. And there's one at the bottom over here. We're going to take this cover off and take a look at that air filter. In order to get the air filter changed, you have to take this side plate off. You get yourself a star bits, put it on your drill, take these guys off. Okay? Once we get the plate off, then my cover comes off. Alright, so remember, the plate first, then the cover. Let's take a look at this oil filter, I mean the air filter. Well, look at this, we've got a couple of burn marks on here. Look at that. Huh. I don't know what that could be from. Anybody in the comment, you know, comment below, what do you think that's from? Everything looks pretty clean. You want to get a little rag and you want to just clean things out. Everything looks pretty clean to me. So we're definitely going to change that air filter. And that'll be it. You're just going to take your new one and you're going to just insert it the same way this one came out. Plate back on here. You want to go easy. You don't want to strip it. One, two, three, four. And by the way, if you're enjoying some of these videos I'm putting out, hit that like button right now for me, if you don't mind. All right, it helps out the channel. The other thing is, is uh, subscribe and share the video. If you're not a subscriber and you're watching this, just hit it for me. It takes two seconds. I appreciate it. I really do. Oil filter. Right above you take the plate off, and this is where the spark plug is located, right here. Pull this off, there's your spark plug, okay? We're going to change that spark plug. If you're curious, you're going to need a 5 8 inch socket with an extension. You're going to just insert it in there, and you're going to back this guy out. All right, once I backed it out, you can see, yeah, she's black. So we're going to change, we're going to put the new one in. If you ever wondered why these uh, sockets have those rubber like gasket washers inside. I don't know if you can see that, but they're in there. It's so when you stick the uh, so when you when you stick it into the spark plug, the spark plug actually sticks into it, so you can lift it out of the uh, little hole there. You're gonna put it into the socket like this, and you're just gonna put it back in right into there. Go nice and easy. You don't want to strip those threads and give it a nice little uh, hand tight with the uh, socket wrench and then you're going to put the cap back on. All right, after installing the spark plug, the oil, everything is finished and completed. You want to start it up, let it run for a few minutes and then we're going to check the oil again, the level and that'll be it. We're going to store it away and I strongly advise you run this thing empty in the carburetor. What I mean by that is let it run and then turn the gas line off while it's running and let it run out so you don't leave any gasoline inside the carburetor at all. It will gum up and you will have a problem six months to a year from now when you need it. So run that carburetor dry. All right, let's start it up.
now that I let it run for a few minutes, I shut it down. You want to check the oil, make sure it's level. You want to open this guy up here, go slow. I'm going to shake your tires a little bit. You can see I'm perfect. I'm right there. Take your finger and just dab it. You can see it. So we're perfectly full. We're going to tighten this back up here. Go easy. You don't want to strip these threads. Go nice and easy. When you get down to the bottom, give it a nice snug twist. Okay, not crazy because it's plastic. And that's it. That's how you change the oil, oil filter, and air filter in a Generac XP 8000E. That's right, it's got an 8000 running watt, and believe it or not, a 12000 starting watt surge. A lot of them are only 8000 with a 10000 these days. This unit, believe it or not, is close to 10 years old, and it ran flawlessly. I was out for almost nine days and it went pretty much 24 7 okay there we go I resetted the oil at 142.3 hours all right if you push this button again oil in another hundred hours okay remind you push it again service air filter in 200 hours which I already did today which is fine I'll do it at 200 and then again the plugs at in 57.7 all right so we're back to 142.3 the service oil has been reset wait a minute what do, what do I what do I got to do now yo Sonny Sonny? Sonny? Wait a minute. Sonny? Yes, yeah, Sonny.